here for spring break because Kayla's on spring break so we just came to like last minute trip to have a little bit of fun do something outside of the city so we drove down here it was an eight hour drive it was long y'all um, and now we just finna go exploring and go find something to eat find something to do tonight because we're very tired from the drive everybody's feeling the, the tiredness so we finna head out and anyway um I'm gonna show y'all this piece out when I get back. But look at this. This is what it looks like after I took the twists out. Some of the twists have braids at the root and not just all twists. So some of them look a little bit different. But it looked pretty good and it got some good hold. That little curl jelly gel, whatever it was, got some good hold. That's all I'm gonna say. We just went 
is a Cafe Du Monde, so we had some um, beignets and the coffee, coffee strong. Uh, but it's like super loud in there, so I didn't like vlog anything in there. It's way too loud. Um, Kayla, what a, is that a lake or a river? Or the ocean? Earlier, Dan told Caleb where we was going before we left, and um, I guess Caleb forgot because he was like, "Mom, what's the name of the hotel we're staying at in North Korea?" I was like, "I was like, Caleb, we we ain't going to North Korea. We going to New Orleans." I don't know what this place is, but we're here. <laughs> it's someplace famous. Pedestrian airplane, <laughs> not pedestrian, but domestic airplane. <laughs> Why would they do that? Anything you want from me, one more. Thanks, guys. That feels good. Too. One more. Okay. Come over here. To do this right, I need to borrow a twenty-dollar bill from the tall fellow with the blue shirt. Right there. Now. There's no worse thing here. What are you? This building is 107, 69 years old. There's no worse things? What? It is super loud everywhere we go around here. I don't like my hair. Ew. Anyway, it's loud everywhere. What, babe? They're letting you in there. Okay, everywhere we go is loud as heck. So it's really hard to vlog. I don't like my hair, and it's getting hot, and I didn't wear my dress like I wanted to. What'd you say? I said, of course you didn't like it. Of course I don't wear what? Like it. I don't like your hair either when you don't have a haircut. Now we're just roasting. Okay. Oh, I got a drink too. <laughs> Ask for two extra shots, not just one. No, that's okay. They can see me knock them out. You force them in there? No, do that. Michaela's here, but she's in her stroller because it's her nap time. So. 
We don't have plans, by the way. We never made plans. We're just walking around doing stuff. We just finished eating. I'm not going to tell y'all the name of the place because it wasn't even that good, so it ain't worth it. But now we're going to go, well, we're inside of the World War II Museum, so we're just going to check it out. Junior Watson, I've been on my Junior Watson, I've been on my Tell him this, did he miss? Junior Watson, I've been on my I can't really see where did I miss. Mm. Mm. Junior Watson, I've been on my Junior Watson, I've been on my Tell him this, did he miss? Junior want to not be on my ex mm, mm, new killers, mm, mm, shot, tell them, mm, mm, this on Wanda, mm, mm, on my mama, mm, mm, made a promise, mm, Junior want to not be on my, Junior want to not be on my, it, it only fell. Hey, <laughs> Okay, so we finished at the museum and we basically just went back to the room to hang out a little bit. Um, but now we're eating dinner. We got some reservations yesterday at this Japanese uh, barbecue steakhouse um, or Japanese barbecue restaurant. And I got so sake. Yes. <laughs> 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 
Rice, eggs, bacon. Mom. Mom. Shrimp. Hmm? Right. Right. Mommy. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. That one looks That one looks Mmm. Mmm. See, biscuit. Mm, good. Mm. You don't need it. Want some more bacon? Today is Wednesday, it's our third day here, and we're going to the aquarium today. It is so loud here, everywhere. It's just loud. Oh, you just said it was quiet today. Quiet as in there's not a lot of people, but we start walking down the street and now it's all loud again. Look at that. Those are the fish that was telling Dory the way to go. They would make uh, like arrows and stuff? Yeah. They have a nice color. No, those are way too big. You sure? Yeah, those are way too big. Hey, lady. <laughs> this, they have to be thinner. It's like way thinner. Those are pretty thin. Wanna, which way are we going, Caleb? Through here? Come inside. Oh my goodness. Fish. We gotta take you back to Mexico. Okay. Michaela, you gotta go for the first time to your homeland. Okay. Yeah, 
just finished at the aquarium and now we're at the zoo. Oh, that's a big one. 
My phone, I mean my, my phone, not my phone, child. I'm on my phone. My camera died, so I'm recording on my phone. Now, leaving the orangutans, who just came up on the elephant. Bamboo village is over there. Oh, these are the Asian elephants. Oh, I see. Elephant. He just come out? Mm -hmm. I got some. It's mm -hmm. always the tigers when we go to the zoo. But I got a problem with it. If y'all want to know what I'm talking about, just go and watch our San Diego vlog. It's huge. It's huge. It's just waiting for somebody to fall over. Let one of these little kids fall. Proud of that? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, Michaela. Oh, I, I gotta watch it going. Which one? The roommate one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I watched that one. I watched the first one. Huh? Crazy. Thank you. Appreciate you. Okay. Your salad look good. I need a fork. Can, can you bring you one? No. We are at the Boyle Seafood House. This one was top rated when I was looking them up. So Caleb got some catfish and fries. And then I got some king crab leg with Cajun medium. We're gonna see how good it is. We decided to take a last minute trip to New Orleans um, for Caleb's spring break, because we had already took leave. So here we are in New Orleans now. Um, we booked an Airbnb. I've never booked an Airbnb before, um, but I decided to go ahead and try it this time since we're gonna be staying somewhere for um, a full week. So I booked us an Airbnb. Um, this one is called the Zydeco, and it is done by um, a company, not an actual person. The company is called Nola Lux. Hold on, let me make sure. New Orleans Luxury Rentals um, is what the company is called. And basically, what they've pretty much done, I believe, is they have this whole apartment building kind of rented out for Airbnbs, basically. Um, so I don't think there's any actual like residential people in here. I think all of these are rented out as Airbnbs in this building. Um, this is a three-story building with a penthouse at the top. Um, I don't think anybody stays in any of the lower level rooms. Um, I think they're used for like storage and stuff like that. Um, cause that hallway looked a wreck, but anyway, <laughs> um, they do have an office in here, but you don't really ever have to talk to the office for the most part. Um, you could just come in when it's your time and then leave when it's your time to go. Um, but I did go check out the office because we had a couple of issues when we got here. So, um, the first thing was I, when I originally signed up for Airbnb, I used, I signed up using, um, my Apple, I signed up using Apple, and Apple gives you the option to hide your password. So I went ahead and did that, but I wasn't able to get any emails from the company. And so um, I was like, why am I not getting this rental agreement that 
I keep seeing in here um, for my check-in instructions. But that was because um, my password was hidden, I guess. I'm not really sure how that worked. They were sending it to some email address, but I don't know what was going on. I don't know if Apple blocked it or what. But at any rate, I just basically went in. I changed my password to, I mean, I changed my email to my what my email really is. And then um, I was able to receive the emails from um, the company. So once I got the email from the company, I was able to get, they have like a little rental agreement thing that you have to sign saying that you're not gonna be loud with the, with the whoop. And then um, from there, they send you the check-in instructions. Um, when I got my check-in instructions, they didn't say that I had early check-in, which I paid for a week early. So um, me and Daniel were talking about it. We got, we booked the place two weeks out. And then um, a week out, we were just like discussing, um, discussing our travel plans and stuff like that. Hold on, I'm wiping Michaela's nose. We were discussing our travel plans and all of that. And um, we wanted to get through Houston and beat all the morning traffic. We decided we were gonna leave at like 2 a.m., which will put us here in New Orleans at 11 because it's an eight hour drive. At this point, it's so a week prior, I went ahead and I asked for early check-in, which is only $75. Um, and you get to check in at 11 instead of four, which was perfect because we were arriving at 11. But then it wasn't perfect because when I got my check-in instructions, like I said, my early arrival wasn't on there. And um, I guess they had rented out the uh, uh, the apartment we're staying in. They rented it out over the weekend. And so um, their flight got delayed. And so they had to stay an extra night, which posed some issues for the cleaning company to be able to come in and clean up the room um, when it needed to be done for us to arrive here at 11. So um, I was kind of like dealing with that. They were very nice when we were going through all of that, but um, it was like kind of an issue, like why would you not kick them out? <laughs> but um, they eventually, um, got the cleaning company to come in. I guess the people didn't leave when they were, like, they didn't leave maybe until 11, I'm assuming, um, because we didn't get to get into the room until 1 p.m. Um, so what we did was we basically just kind of drove around, scoped out the area because there's no parking. Even at, like, residential houses, there seems to be, like, no actual driveway. Um, so there was no parking, so we were kind of scoping that whole issue out. And then um, we were also... Um, I needed to get milk for the kids. Their grocery store here is called Rouse's. Um, so I went to the grocery store, got some milk for the kids. And then um, by the time we got back into the area, I was like, well, let's just drop our luggage off in the in the office because I don't know how long it's going to take. But I don't want to keep sitting in the car. So um, we went in to go drop our stuff off. And the lady walked up to me. She was like, are you guys staying in the Zydeco? I think it's ready now. I was like, this is weird because I don't even know who you are. Um, like she didn't introduce herself or anything like as a person that worked for the property she was just like it's ready <laughs> i was like okay um so she met us up here and opened the door for us um and yeah we are here um i'm doing this backwards today's actually thursday our last full day here and i'm doing it backwards because i didn't get to get everything done when we actually arrived um so we've been staying here living in here for weeks so anything you see on the floor is just because it dropped and it ain't no vacuum cleaner or no broom up in here for us to sweep it up. Um, but let me show you kind of the basics. So this is the entrance, this is the door. Um, this little stick thing is ours. I bought it because the door is um, electric. It's like a little keypad code door. And so I wanted to get this just to be safe to make sure nobody was running up in here um, or doing anything crazy. Um, this is the first little landing area none of that stuff is on i think it's like an intercom or whatever but the cooler is ours um we bought it during the road trip um there's this little nook area over here which is really cute we're using it to charge all of our electronics um and then they have plenty of cabinet space um in here this would be nice like to have as a little apartment and then a pantry, which we are using um, for all of our stuff. Then immediately after you come into your right is the kitchen. Um, the kitchen was very clean when we came in. They did a really good job. Um, that's our dishes. <laughs> they have like a little welcome, little package thingy packet. 
um it has like the wi-fi on here and how everything is provided um they do ask you to do a little bit of like assisting for the cleanup crew whenever you leave um it has the remote control they do have cable in here they have um at&t or direct tv cable um which is actually what we have at home and we actually have um samsung tvs too so we knew how to work everything but you can like add apps on here um to watch like netflix and stuff they already have most of it already downloaded from other people staying here um they give you some of the main channels on here but like i said they have like an actual direct tv package um there is a map there's a trash chute on every floor um and so on this floor the trash chute happens to be right next to us right here um so that we can take out the trash they do provide trash bags um and there is a washer and a dryer, so they give you instructions for how to use the washer and dryer. Um, but I thought that was really cool, really cute, very professional. Um, they had two bags of chips. Um, we ate two, so it really it was four bags of chips, but they gave you the two kind. Um, and that was really sweet. Um, there was a sponge that we got. This is all our dishes, like I said. The sponge was underneath the sink with um, the dishwashing soap, but then there was hand soap already here. And then they provide some napkins for you. Underneath the sink they had stuff. Some of this stuff is mine that I brought from home um, to clean up and stuff like that. Um, but they did already have like trash bags here. <coughs> Fire extinguisher. Um, stuff for little packets for the dishwasher. Um, and yeah. They have a fully powered gas stove which I have not used once since we've been here. Um, but it's a full-size gas stove. They provide you olive oil, salt, and pepper, um, knives, and measuring stuff. Um, there's a Keurig with coffee. Um, they've got some little creamer, creamer packages and some sugar. And then they've got a bunch of different types. They've got a breakfast blend, Kona blend. Um, I think that's it, actually. I have not had any coffee since I got here. I haven't used a Keurig. Um, and then there is a toaster. This stuff is my camera stuff. Um, let me see. They have, there it is. They have pots and pans in here. I know it's a little hard to see, but that is cute how that slides out like that. So they have some pots and pans, um, for you so that you can cook a meal. Um, that was really cute how that slid out. And some more cookware items for you. Spoons and stuff are in here. They've got bowls and plates in here. Microwave. Um, and some more cups, a little mixing bowl. Cups. Wine glasses, shot glasses. Um, now the fridge, again, like I said, the fridge is pretty clean. We got here. They provided this for us. So they provided water, and then they provided some Sprites and Cokes. Um, the rest of this stuff is ours that we brought and leftover food that we've been eating. Um, but then in the freezer, they also had some glasses already chilled um, for beer or whatever. So I thought that was really neat. Um, that was a neat little touch. And there is a doorstop, but this doorstop does not, um, it doesn't work for inside. It only works for outside, like when the door is open to hold the door open. It doesn't actually work like this one does. And then a trash can. And then you come into the living room. Um, they have the stools for the bar area. Um, little decorations. Little blanket on the... That's Michaela. Okay, just act like she's not there. Um, these two little cute little ottomans. And then you have this TV area here. Um, with their two remotes. Little corner chair. That is the bathroom area, I'll show you in a little bit. And then you have stairs that lead to the room that is upstairs. Over here you have a little kitchen area, a little table, that's all of our stuff, don't look at it. And then you walk back, there's a thermostat, you light switches, the room, and you have a little patio. Um, which is really cool. There's some old people. <laughs> There's old people. Um, the patio space is pretty large. It's nice. 
it's really good weather today, which is just like the best weather that we've had since we've been out here. Um, but then, yeah, you can see it has a little little sky area. I'm assuming that's for the penthouse. Um, and yeah. Hi, Daddy. Daddy's inside. Come on. This door does get a little stuck on the bottom when you try to open it, but whatever. That ain't my business. Um, off the hallway, they have a, um, a washer and a dryer. Like I mentioned, it doesn't look like full size. It looks a little mini. Yeah, this is a mini. Um, but it looks nice and clean. It actually looks really clean. They provide two umbrellas for you. Um, because I mean, New Orleans, it rains, so they do have two umbrellas. It looks like nobody's used them. Um, but I did buy my own umbrellas when I was shopping for our trip here. They provide little sheets and then, um, a little, little bit of laundry detergent, um, in case you need to wash anything. And then this one is just little, I don't know, I guess it's for the AC. Oh, and one thing I do need to mention, the water be getting cold way too fast. Like, there's no, like, running, running water. It just, it gets cold really quickly. Um, so, it's kind of a pain with younger kids, four people trying to shower, the water getting cold like that. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if that's just, like, this building or what, what the situation is. Um, but that is kind of one of the setbacks, one of the things that, it's kind of irritating. The water be cold. So these are the stairs. Um, it's kind of dangerous again for like younger kids. It'd be a nice little place for like a couple with no kids or I don't know, a couple with one older kid, but it's kind of dangerous. The room up here is actually called the primary room and the room downstairs is actually the guest room. Um, but yeah, so there's like a little chair, a little desk area. Um, I guess these are like storage closets back there. A little lamp decor um a lot of the light switches have this feature where you can turn the brightness of the light up and down so rounding the corner this is the primary room um it's very nice high high ceilings in here um just a really nice little room um, there's some windows up here these things actually open because i opened them before um, to let in a little bright light, but yeah, the only the other only thing is that there's no um, tall mirrors. They have these two little mirrors back here, and then downstairs they also have those mirrors. But there's no like tall mirror so that you can like see your fit. Like you can't see what you got on. There's a little candle up here, and then both rooms have this um, machine, this sound machine for when you're going to bed at night, which I thought is really nice to include little sound machine um yeah tv kayla got some playing we let kayla take this room i don't know if i said that already but we let kayla take this room up here <laughs> um there's the remote control little decor um the dressers they have these cute little alarm clocks that you can um like set the ambiance i guess um and then the closet in here has a little rug the irons in here but the ironing board is downstairs in the other closet where we are um and that's all Caleb's stuff but nice big closet nice big walk-in closet um and then you have the bathroom now Caleb been in this bathroom so just so y'all know but it has a nice little hotel style mirror it has a beautiful sink this is all Caleb's stuff by the way um, and then they provide these in both bathrooms um these little kits so it's a makeup remover wipe um and some Q-tips. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, they also provide soap. So they have some lotion and soap for you. Um, and then they provide you with some toothbrushes if you forgot yours or you need a new one and some mouthwash. Um, and then in here is where you have all of your extra towels. We've been using them. The toilets were taped down initially um, after they cleaned them. After they clean the toilets, they were taped down. You have a hair dryer. Um, I think that's it. In here is the hair dryer. And there's nothing in there. And then under the sink, you have some extra toilet paper. 
And in this bathroom, the shower is um, a full stand-up shower. And they had some towels folded over there. Caleb used them, obviously. Um, and then you have your multiple lights. So it's the fan. That's the light. And then, I don't know what that blue light is. I'm thinking it's sanitation. Daniel doesn't think so. Um, I think it's like a sanitizing light, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that's the upstairs room. All right, so today is Thursday. It's our last full day here because we check out on Friday. Um, did you push the open button? <clears throat> um, as I was saying, it's our last day here, um, our full day, but we don't have any plans. Right now we're at this little mall. I don't know what this mall place is. The Riverwalk Outlet Collection. So yeah, we're just gonna be walking around finding something to do. It's like open, but you weren't on it. I was, I was waiting, uh, I waited for a little bit. We are, well, it looks better this way. There's like a, there's like a spider web on my face. Okay, we walked through the mall and I got a drink at Fat Tuesdays and now we're just walking around, going somewhere. That's the aquarium where we were yesterday. Hold up. That's the aquarium where we were yesterday. And these trolleys, y'all, they don't be having like no trolley stop. They just, people be walking all across these little trolley tracks, not knowing nothing, thinking that they're not active. And then here come the trolley. There ain't no thing to stop you from walking under nothing. You just get hit. Y'all see that trolley right there? Literally, and then you can even, even if I was driving, I would still probably get hit by a trolley. You still get hit by a trolley? Probably. Look, there's no light. What's it called? <laughs> light, alarm, down. Well, none of that. What, like, like that thing? Yeah, the thing that goes up and down. For that, for the things, that's for the things. No well, they should have one for the trolley. This is where we was walking yesterday when we almost got hit. Look at all these palm trees. Mm. So look at all these palm trees. It's like Vegas. That one's not active. Huh? That one's not active. Here, hold this camera. Just point. You don't have to look at the hole. Yeah. 
I'm done. Yeah. Push pause so I can say the yeah. bag. He said, Why to what? We're just walking down Bourbon Street now. We were gonna get on the little bus tour, but Mango Mango Daiquiris. Can stop us? There's a lot of old white people, and it's just kind of funny seeing old white people sitting in these bars. Felixes. Sounds real popular. I don't have that cup. I have the Bad Tuesday cup today. It's St. Patrick's Day, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that already or not, but it is St. Patrick's Day. Rick's Cabaret. Got a nice little, ooh, cafe beignet. This is the back side of it, I guess. That's cute. It's really good weather today. Those areas remain largely dry, but 80% did flood. Now, in 1903, we invented what was called the wood screw pump. With that pump, we were able to start pumping out the swamp land. We started to build on that. 
Swamp land is kind of like a sponge. You remove the water and it drinks. So we're going to be turning to the right. When we do, we're going to get a better look at it because it is very important to our city's history and culture. Yeah. At one time, we Talk were very much a Catholic city and you actually had to be baptized Catholic to live in the city. That included enslaved people. But now Sunday was God's day and under French law, the enslaved had the day off. They could gather here at Congo Square on our right. There they could play music, trade, interact with three people of color. The tradition carries on today. On Sundays, you'll see people gathered at Congo Square. There's an African drum group that plays there. Ladies in full African dress come and dance. Some of our early jazz rhythms came out of Congo Square. Now, you must be with a licensed tour guide to go in the cemetery. You cannot go in on your own. They will not let you inside the gate. The tour is really good. It's about 45 minutes long. Now, if you want good pictures of the cemetery when we leave Basin Street Station, we're going to pass by again. If you want good pictures, sit on the right-hand side of the bus. He is not actually in that because he is still alive, but he owns several homes in the city and he didn't pay his income tax. The IRS sees his homes. They cannot see the burial property, so we have to put this final home. Second most visited tomb in the United States is within those walls, the tomb of Marie Laveau, our new priestess. So this portion of the tomb is What's this place called? Coop's Place. Coop's Place. Oh, I did walk out of that one. This chicken is so fire. And it's jambalaya. Oh, my God. I wish I could show the rest of my camera died. And so I can't sit it up to pop it up to show y'all how we eat. There's no way to set it up. It ain't taking one to get it either. This jambalaya is so good. You know I need a sausage. Throw some more seasoning on that hoe. Michaela, more chicken. You just ate it. Caleb. Caleb. I'm gonna go back and put some more chicken. Here you go. It's really good. You gotta eat. Put this over there. Uh -oh. more rock. You gotta eat, Pop. All you had was a cinnamon roll since this morning. You find anything interesting? You're in the shops? No? It's nice because they have authentic people from where they're from. But outside of that, <laughs> the dog wants some chicken too. Are you kidding me? We're about to start walking. Oh, really? Yeah, because I, I, I tried to throw you a bone. I was like, yo, you should go. And you're like, nah. Well, I tried to get in there, but it was a line. And I was like, I got to oh, pee. Like, really bad. Oh, yeah. So I went next door. When I went, there was nobody there. And they're like, yeah, just walk. Because I was like, yo, can I order to go? They're like, yeah, just walk up there to the bar. Luckily, there was a spot open. Yeah. Because I'm nice. Oh, hi, baby. What can I get you, sweetheart? I'm like, yeah, I need some of that. Uh, yeah. Alive. I'm glad you went. Because all I was worried about was going to the bathroom. I know. And that's why I was like, uh, I told you to go. 
And I went next door on accident too. I was like, fuck it. It's good. Y'all, I got some, hold on, let me back this out because it's way too close. I got some fried green tomatoes. I never had these before. I don't even know where I got these from. Where did I get these from? Fried green tomatoes. They don't even say the restaurant. Oh, I got this from Gus's Fried Chicken. Um, so I got some fried green tomatoes. I never had them before. But I'm not really understanding what would make you want to fry green tomatoes over anything else. <laughs> like, they're okay, but like... It's all in the fry, not really in the tomato itself. If that makes sense. You know how like sometimes you have fried fish and it be in the fry and not the fish? It's like that. Mm. I mean they're decent but I'm gonna have to look that history up. Cause I just don't I didn't connect them to me why they would pick this. Not that it's bad. They remind me a little bit of pickles, fried pickles. But when you have fried pickles, I mean, why would you choose tomatoes? <laughs> so I don't know, but they are. Right. Now, we also got from Gus's fried chicken, some Gus's fried chicken. Um, my husband got some fried chicken from another spot. I'm gonna ask him to tell me the name, but that chicken was hitting y'all, like, that chicken was so fucking good. So basically, here's a chicken from Gus's Fried Chicken. It looks really good too. Collard greens, they look a little weak. I ain't gonna lie, I could tell what collard greens gonna hit like, just by look. Macaroni and cheese look okay. Um, but the chicken looks pretty good. But this little seasoning came from another chicken spot that my husband got um, while we was out on, we was on Bourbon Street, but we was also like in the French market area so I don't know I guess we're gonna see let me see what these greens hit like actually good what was that place called that you got the chicken from baby oh. Oh. Coop's chicken y'all that okay. chicken was good as hell with this seasoning right here but this is Gus's fried chicken Coop's place Coop's place was good Coop's place is good Gus is not chicken on me. Chicken. You got salad and cheesecake. It ain't hot. Salad. What should do that? Yeah, I did get this just cheesecake shirt. Sure. You want to show my back for a little bit? Cheesy. And a salad. Oh. Yeah. Why did the pizza. chicken is good? We also stopped at that one little place that you guys saw us in. Um, that was really loud and crowded. They have some good ass chicken too, so all the chicken here is good, right? What is, what is I, got it. I like this noise. Shark. Shark. It don't hit the same as Coop's chicken though. Mm. But it's good. It ain't that it's bad, it's just it hitting like Coop's was. Coop's was, was like, it was juicy like through and through. Like, and the outside was mad crunchy. Like yeah. The inside, like, it didn't matter if you had a leg, an eye, the outside, the inside. And it's not that this ain't good. It just ain't hitting like Coop's was. This is good, but Coop's is gooder. Gooder? Yep. What do you mean gooder? That's not even a word. I said what I said. It's not a word. Yeah. Man, pizza ain't too bad. Pizza good? I'm hitting. Nice. Hello? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be picking up the before. Are you outside? Okay, I'm on my way now. Thank you. We gotta go again? Alright. One last time. Why are you pouring this up? Let's go eat. Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! 
They want to go get some more food? Some french fries? You want french fries? Yes. They want to go get it. Okay. It ain't that it's super dry, but it's more dry than, than, than Coop's place, for sure. Go to Coop's place. If y'all want some good ass fried chicken, some good food, go to Coop's place. That's where the seasoning came from. And honestly, the seasoning don't hit on this chicken like it did on Coop's chicken. I don't know what that mean, but I up to y'all to figure out. Come here, Chicken? Okay. Fire. I also got some pizza for the kids and for us. And I also got some strawberry cheesecake and some Caesar salad. And this is all from the pizza place. Um, the pizza place is called. What? These ain't even like no kind of pizza I've ever seen. G's Pizza. <laughs> this is like ugly. This the pizza. <laughs> it's ugly, but it's good. So that sauce hit my tongue. I was like, oh. Wait, what? Uh oh. What are we doing? With a pizza? Like that? With a pizza? Like that? You get it, right? Like ah. <laughs> it's our last DoorDash order. Okay, I ordered from three places. Jalapeno poppers. You know we like spicy food over here. She turned up. <laughs> it's St. Patrick's Day. She done, she done went all out. And literally all this stuff is like not even a block from where we stay. Mm-hmm. Point four miles away. But you know I had to do a big on our last night here. I had to order us some food. Like sauce. Yeah. So the the barbecue joint where I told y'all I was like, uh, I ain't gonna tell y'all where we at. Um because it wasn't that good. They did have good wings, but the wings were plain. And so it was kind of like the wings off of hot ones where they put a dab of hot sauce on it. They was real crispy like that. Like they was good, crispy, like you wanna eat that shit. But it ain't had no sauce. Nothing else had the sauce on it either. Like his pulled pork sandwich, it had no sauce on it. The pulled pork, yeah. I mean, it was all right, but the pulled pork was a little cold. You can tell that it had been, like, made and just been sitting until someone ordered it. So, it was still a little cold. that's why I told y'all we don't care about, about that one. I ain't gonna tell y'all where we ate at, because it wasn't really hitting like that. Let's try the cheese stick, man. That's your piece right there. I never really had cheese steak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got green onion and bell pepper. Green bell pepper and onion. It's okay. I've, I've had a sweet cheese steak for Philly, though. Mm -hmm. Boy, uh, Ferguson put me on. Mm -hmm. I just get a thousand dollars instead of having to get a hundred dollars. Chanel thought two fifty. Twelve. It's ten. What's up, baby? And I had to prove that. Too. Mom, I'm gonna take a shower. It's already eight o'clock. I, I don't care. Seven more. Good late. Yes, baby. Kayla, mm. <laughs> help her. She said to help her. What do you need help with? Okay. What did, what did you say? <laughs> oh my god. I don't fucking know. He just turned the camera and said something has changed and then turned it back. I said this video has changed. Because we're on 
mean, turn it. There's you. <laughs> Say what's up. Okay. Wait, be careful. What's be up? careful. Don't fall down. What's up? Say what's up, my people. Space. Slap your face. Oh, so <laughs> when you say out of space, slap my 